five minutes. Your awareness may be powerful enough to control your instincts. Your instinct will be to remove your hand from the box. It's your girl Mish, and welcome to another episode of the Love Mish Podcast. push play i was telling you my a studio signs um so my son in a studio is virgo which is the virgin mother and my cancer is my cancer is i don't freaking forgot i know my rising is libra which means balance bitch balance um let me go to astro.com and And look at this thing again because oh I think I got it in my pictures I got it in my pictures because I took a screenshot of it now I just gotta find the screenshot or or did I put it in my books Yeah, I put it in the books. It's loading, y'all. So it says Virgo, Sun, Gemini, Moon, and let me go look at the other one. Libra Rising. Now that I think about it, Gemini Moon is who I really, really am. But I still resonate with the Crab Baby Cancer. But I'll have to look into Gemini. Let me see real quick. Gemini Moon. Gemini Moon. Gemini Moon. I know my mom's Gemini. Isn't that crazy? I want them to do a parent's zodiac and then show the kids the zodiac. And I bet it'd be a lot of relations in there. Gemini Moon. Moon in Gemini. The moon in Gemini, people have a close social circle and always on the move, ready for the next big challenge. Gemini moon. I'll have to look into that a little bit more. They usually give me just what I need. Moon in Gemini. Intextualizes emotions. Oh my God. Okay. So in the Western world, they want me to just understand that I'm very emotional as far as cancer is concerned. But my higher self is like, it's not just about your emotions, boo. We need you to intellectual, intelligentize your emotions. Oh my God. So, and that's what I've just started to do. Okay. So I'm crying. Okay. This person did that. It made me feel like this. I'm crying. Okay. What are these cryings trying to tell me? Okay. Cry it out. Cry it out. Cry it out. And let's think. Perhaps <laughs> I should have said this or I shouldn't have did that. Da, 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 da. So I know going forward, we're not going to do these things because we know what that result was. So I kind of feel like that's what I'm just now realizing. Um, optimistic. I'm very optimistic. Curious, quick-witted, communicative, unorganized. Yes, that explains a lot. I'm organized, unorganized. <laughs> like... If organization and or unorganized had a child, I would be it. But I think it's I care to clean what I care to clean and I don't what I don't. 
um impressionable okay so oh my gosh i'm gonna have to look into that a little bit more this woman is a complete package of mystery because when she is in the bed you will see a new side of her each time oh my gosh gemini moon i didn't mean to read that one <laughs> let me see Woo! um so yeah i'm gonna look into that a little bit more and then we have uh libra Oh, those are really, really cute. And then we have Libra in uh, Rising, which I already know is balance, which I just explained the story about looking at life, experiencing life, but not forgetting the two drops of oil on the spoon. And I feel like I volunteered to come here. Like, I always remember, now that I think about it, it was a spaceship. It was a spaceship. I feel like I was, like, purplish. There's this movie, and I showed my sister, you know that alien movie that Rihanna was in, and on that planet with the shells, and they didn't have no hair or anything, they were like purplish with scales, and when when she died, she just did that, and all that energy came out of her, that's what I be talking about when I say like energy. I felt it. I felt it so much when I was on my mushrooms. I feel it all the time. And I've just started practicing my Reiki. And I promise you, I'm starting to feel it more and more. And you always get better with anything over time. Um, and I saw this man, actually. He It was some llamas and a gate. And he just lifted up his hand and they all, like, laid down to go to sleep. Like, I think these are things that we're supposed to be practicing on and evolving and learning because it's not that's not a trick to say, oh, I made the llamas lay down. What if he goes into a city that's plagued with COVID and just lifts his hands and people start getting healed? I feel like that's Jesus left for all that time so that he can learn and study and master his skills and came. We already knew he had skills. He turned the wine. He turned um, the water to wine. But there's much more than you can do versus a wedding party favor. Like he really left learned what the fuck he was needing to learn and came back and did great and i think we all end up doing that i think we all step back we all go into that hermit mode we all start to learn grow adapt and then we reemerge to help the world which the caterpillar is just teaching us that like you're gonna be all about self you're gonna be eating 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 but you're gonna go in this cocoon and when you come out you're gonna be able to spread that pollen from plant to plant you know what i mean um, so the, so I think the journey does start out with self, but when self evolves, it ends up helping others. But anyway, I said all that to say the angels have fallen and we volunteered to come here. Um, but because we came here, remember we're dropping from 5d, 4d to three. So we still have to learn those things to get back on those 4d, 5d levels. But since we're here, we can exude that energy, um, outward. And I think there's just a lot of distractions, blah, blah, blah. but just enjoy being a human, enjoy Earth. But don't forget, this is a mission. I remember a mission. Oh, that's what I was telling you. So I feel like I was on a spaceship. It was me. It was someone to my left and my right. And I was like, they're so dumb. I just, felt, I just remember like it was really not even words. I just felt so aggravated. Like why they can't do this? Like it's so easy. It's so simple. Like idiots. Like just emotions. Y'all know I'm an emotional person. Just like all those frustrating emotions. And I'm like, I can do it. And we're looking down into this circle. And I'm like, I'm gonna do it. Just move. I'm, I'm about. To, I'm watch. I'm gonna show you. And I remember the last thing I was like, I'm not going as a boy. <laughs> Something. But you know, now that I've now that I've done a little bit of research, the powers that be in these vaccines that you continue to give your kids. I don't know why. They give black boys autism. And I feel like I dodged a bullet because they know we need to keep reproducing. So they're going to give the black women a different vaccine. But they know that we have to breed with the black men. So who's going to be your number one target? The black man. So they're giving them Alzheimer. And I'm going to do a um, podcast on Reese's book. It was so many jewels in there, y'all. I think that book was like $35. It was worth a hundred fucking dollars. Like he put so much knowledge in there. And I'm thinking Rizzo is young. This man is like 40. Like, I just acknowledge men like that. Like, when you when you educate your mind, like, there's nothing someone can say to, like, trick you. No, I'm not getting the shot because I'm educated to know what the fucking shot is. Um, or, you know, 
I don't know. Just just that wisdom helps you avoid a lot of uh, bad situations. And I don't see many men in those roles. And when I see them, I know the price that they could could face. They could be assassinated. They could be killed. They could be murdered. But the things that they do while they're alive will live on through generations and ages. I think of Dr. Delbert Blair. They killed this man's wife. He was telling us that we can heal ourselves. We just need to learn. He came in contact with alien beings and stuff like this. And at first, he wouldn't tell so much because he knew the powers that be were listening. But when they killed his wife, he didn't care. He just started spilling all the beans. And he knew, he knew that, he knew that they had a beam ray that they could shoot at you to give you cancer. Like, he knows I'm a number one target and my days are numbered. And he just kept doing so many interviews and just spreading knowledge. And you can go on YouTube right now and type in his name and all these interviews will come up. Like, you killed him. But really, that message is living on. Because he planted a seed in me. Dr. Double was dead by the time I found out about him. Same thing with Dr. Sebi. You can kill the man, but you can never kill the message. So I said all that to say, you know, there hasn't been a very brave man like that. And I'm just happy and honored that Reza stood up and carried that cross so you remember in the bible where jesus was so tired because they fucking whipped his ass he was just fucking tired and probably hungry and thirsty and everything else and just probably trying to reserve all his strength from wiping this whole planet out like have you ever been so mad and have to restrain yourself (laughs) restrain yourself from doing something like Let's say you was a serial killer and you just wanted to do better. And every time something want to make you be a serial killer, you're like, oh, I don't want to do this. Or just think about recovering sex offenders. They get back out into the world and civilization and there's kids everywhere you go, not just in school in the parks. And you just have to, you know, refrain yourself or just keep telling yourself I'm going to do better. Like that is an amazing, brave person how much control and you know how determined they are to stay on that good path like i really admire people like that so for him i said all this say for him to pick up that cross for malcolm x for martin luther king for dr blair for dr said before all his predecessors and say okay he probably learned from them too i'm going to take the knowledge that you've learned use it with the things that i've learned today and the the technology that i have and we're gonna spread it out even more like like i don't think they understand it just goes further and further with each person they kill that knowledge just goes further and further and they raise up our knowledge and our consciousness if these people hadn't died let's be honest i probably wouldn't know about them they were doing videos for years that i didn't know about but something about when they die that name get going around and you you know what i mean you it's just like you you pushed out that knowledge you okay you know they how they say um they tried to bury me but they didn't know i was a seed that's that's it that's the analogy that's the analogy okay so i just feel like we were here to help our our fallen angels evolve um oh yeah let me get back to it so i'm on the spaceship i'm not going as a girl i jump in i'm here and it's like where and I know and I have a feeling like I know I know that I know that I know what I'm supposed to do but I don't know (laughs) it's the most frustrating thing ever and it's like okay I was in the wrong I was entertaining my distractions and those distractions were doing a good job at keeping me away from my purpose And now I've taken a whole year off. Like, it ain't even been a whole year yet. I think next March will be a year. I've taken a whole year off to just, like, sit down and reflect and answer these questions. Like, who am I? You know, I am a part of my creator. My creator put this in me. I signed up to come here. Like, every time I ask that question, like, I get a different answer. Like, you are God. Okay, you are a divine feminine. Okay, you signed up with the Star Seed program. You came here to raise the consciousness. You came here to help with Julie. I just keep getting so many answers. Like, okay. And the resources come to you like you're you're supposed to be doing Reiki healing. I, I, I just stumbled across a couple videos, you know, so that I could like heal me. But now I'm going to take a whole class. Now I'm going to be certified and master and I'll end up being able to help people. It's like the universe will reward you. You know you're on the right path when your rewards keep coming. And it's not monetary. So don't even think about it. A homeless person could be 
the main one on the right path not signing up for these contracts of cars and houses and jobs and stuff like they free to do whatever the fuck they want and they eat every damn day and i do feel like a lot of them are veterans that you know they experiment on them a lot military people they experiment on y'all so much y'all don't even know um and so so i do feel like their psyche is a little off but they they have those survival skills they teach you that in the military so they're good they realize that you know they don't need to anyways that could be a whole nother podcast like the government literally sets you up with your straw man to agree and sign all these contracts for debts when last time i checked god made the whole world and said it was good and told you to go forth and multiply he didn't go tell you to go forth and get no job he didn't tell you to go forth and get no house he didn't tell you to go forth and get no car these are all contracts that are tied to debt and debt itself could be karmic you know what i mean so you know there's there's different ways to look to look at it and I don't think these things are bad. Like, okay, you have a house. Okay, you have a job. Okay, you have a car. But most times when we have those things, we aren't we aren't into anything spiritual. We aren't, you know, going to any church or anything like that. We aren't evolving. It's just we're on that hamster wheel and we're lost. And then there are a lot of conscious people. You see, they quit their jobs to start their own businesses. So it's not that I don't need a house. It's not that I don't need a car and I don't need money. It's uh, I'm not going to do it that way. We're going to do it this way. Um... So, yeah, don't forget that or and I don't think all of us signed up. Some of us are fallen angels. You might be a fallen angel. You might be a star seed that came to came to Earth. Some of us are angels. I know a lot of Earth angels. Um, you know, some of us are higher beings in disguise. Y'all call them aliens. It's so many species and they look human. I have this book called Extraterrestrial Species. They all, most of them look human. Some of them do look like reptilians and insect toys and stuff like that. But most of them look just like you some of us came here to sign up for the hybrid program which means the entities will um kidnap you or maybe we shouldn't even say kidnap because they can't do anything without your free will so you forgot that you signed up for this and when these beings coming and getting you and taking you you're freaking out and you're scared and on those higher realms they don't really know about pain and stuff because i just learned earth is an emotional realm So those other beings aren't really emotional. They opening up your back and trying to program you and putting the baby. You're like, oh, my God, they're hurting me. And they're like, bitch, you signed up for this. You wanted to help do the hybrids. Why is you crying? Like, they don't don't understand that. And then they'll bring you back when the babies are born and have you hold them. Because they don't have that motherly nurturing that you have to give that to the baby. Or a baby won't survive. Um, There's this, if you are in psychiatry, there's this famous psychiatrist. I forgot his name. Psychologist. And Sigmund Freud, I think, look at that. And he showed an example of a child not being touched or loved or anything like that. And let me tell y'all why I hate that industry. Okay, thank you for the research and the answer. We we know that off rip. Now, what? Ch- how many kids did you torture like that? That the parents couldn't touch them and hug them and stuff like that? That's why the world is like it is right now. Because people run around here want to do experiments and then let these people out in a into the world without co- without fixing them now this child grew up 18 years without being touched or hugged and you wonder why he was a fucking serial killer he <laughs> you know what i mean we cause our own problems but we're all different entities and we i think a lot of us are forgetting our missions and i'm so happy for the ones that are i don't even want to call it waking up but accepting the call challenging themselves because it starts with you realizing that you have a problem evolving yourself and then you know, creating books or YouTubes or videos or programs or mentorships and, and, and going out into the world and helping people and your people will come to you. Like whatever state you're in, there's a mentor there waiting for you. They may meet you at the grocery store. They may meet you online. They may meet, meet you, you know, at some type of uh, event, you know, convention or study that you go to. Which is why we do need to get out and make sure we're, we're meeting these people. But no matter where you are, even if you're in the house, <laughs> universe know how to send who to get to you. Because um, it could be your family. It could be your friends. It could be a significant other. It could be anybody. So just don't forget to improve yourself. Because there's people always watching and you will inspire them. Little do you know to change little things within themselves or to think about different things that they may not have thought about. And so you just sparked a little match for someone else starting their evolutionary journey. 
And that's just how it goes. Like we each are matches lighting other matches. And we we just got to keep, I think some of us choose not to come back. And I think some of us just love Mother Earth so much that we're going to keep coming back to help her raise her frequency. And that we love the human species or the fallen agents so much that we're going to keep coming back and helping them no matter how evil or deceitful or dis- or disgusting we may feel the love that we have just is, is still rooting for them like even the bible it says when one sinner like comes back to christ like all the angels in heaven rejoice and i kind of feel like that's really what life is like yeah there's yin and yang because everything needs to exist fire needs to create things and water needs to create things but fire doesn't need to destroy everything and water doesn't need to destroy everything so there is a balance I think the darker entities do have a pur- purpose. Like, they can teach us things. Like, grief, I would say, is on the darker end. Um, but, it, you know, it's not there to harm us. It's it's really teaching us a lesson. Like, I remember growing up looking at, oh, my God, I've been, my angels have been around me. My guys have been around me my whole life. I'm just starting to see. We used to look at, um, what was it called? Touched by an angel. And that deaf angel would come around. I would be so angry. Like, he come hooping to die. But he was helping that person, you know, let go of earth and accept that it's time to go. And he was also helping the other people around just to learn that life is so precious. And it is so fleeting that you should love hard every second that you have. Because you never know when that person won't be there. There was a lesson with grief and death for both parties, for all parties involved. Like, usually when somebody dies, like, people just kind of wake up a little bit more. When you go to a funeral, even though the pastor, like, get your life together, come to Christ, what they're really saying is, like, do better. You know what I mean? Um, Love on that person next to you a little bit harder. What if you wake up tomorrow and you get a phone call that they're gone? Like, did you do everything? Would you be happy with y'all last text, y'all last call, y'all last get together? Or do you need to do more? Which is going to lead me to my next episode, even though it's Thanksgiving. Um, now that I'm Native, or I identify with Native, or connecting with my Native roots more, we are really celebrating on the worst day for them. And I think that's like a slap in the face. I think Black people would understand if they had like a lynching day. And we would be like, y'all are celebrating the end of lynching. But, bitch, we remember all the people that were lynched. It's like a two-edged sword. Like, the powers that be, they really be catfishing us. Like, bitch, we not celebrating Thanksgiving. We telling your ass to celebrate Thanksgiving and to go buy all this meat and shit that we putting chemicals in. But we over here are celebrating. We stole your fucking land. And ha, 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 ha. There's nothing you can do about it. It's like a two-edged sword. But, um... I do remember that like I definitely came here I know I'm another species I know that it was love that I was brought here to bring and I thought it would be so easy and in the midst of it it's really hard people can you know do things to you but in spite of continue to love and I have to remember that I signed up for this I signed up to continue to give love even when some people aren't so loving. And it just may be something that I, I'm supposed to meet them for a moment in time to share that with them and to move on. Um, But, you know, you get caught up in this American dream and all like that, that, you know, not even knowing that you are a whole God and you have millions of lovers. Like, nobody can put you in a box. You don't have to be boxed down to one lover. You can love all. So... Yeah, that's another podcast within itself as well. Um, But let me go back to, I don't went off on a tangent, y'all, but this is at, I'm at the end now. Give them a chance for redemption, but I will keep a close eye on them like a problem child. That's why we're here to help the fallen angels rise. Some of us have lost our way in these low vibrational realms, which is why it's important to meditate and stay connected to source. How long can you go without plugging up your phone? Is the same example of how long um, you should go and know that you need to take a vacation, be in solitude, meditate, you know, take a moment to connect with God. And another example I want to give is our TVs. Think about if our TVs 
um, you would plug in your TV for a little bit, and then when it turned off, you would have to charge it. They knew they wanted these TVs on 24-7, so there's a plug. Well, all this technology, and if they do it, y'all heard it here first. Why aren't the TVs plugless? Why can't you take a plug and plug the TV up and then unplug it? They want that shit broadcasting all day. And this is a military device. They are sending out frequencies that we can't even hear, but our body can feel and probably be screaming at us. And that's why it's good to all of these tools. You can use them one or two ways for your best, highest good or for your lowest, worst evil. And so whatever the tool is, you have a choice to make. And whatever you do with it is telling you the choice to do good or bad with it. With a gun, you can protect yourself or you can run around causing harm, chaos, kill, and murder. With a TV, you can use it for educational purposes to learn, da, 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 or you can use it to destroy yourself. Like I just saw that they are making sin so easy that we don't even realize it. Do you know that what your eyes look at, your body interprets as what you've done? So your eyes, that movie, Bird Box. It was trying to tell us that your eyes can be sinning for you. If you look at murder, your eyes are under the impression that you're a murderer. That's karmic debt. But for the simple fact that you looked at it, not that you did it. And so just think about all the sin that we look at all day. And I think it works like that for each body part. I think it looks... It works like that with what you read. You read in a murder book. I think that's the same thing. It's putting it as if you're doing it. You're the first person position. You're reading it. That's that free will. And I think it's just, just why the monks, they just, you know, they just sit in that solitude. They just meditate because they know we don't know every fucking thing you do. <laughs> it's either hurting or harming you. And we just la, 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 YOLO, you only live once. It's so much more than that. And you can definitely do that. This is your life to do that with. But how many times are you going to reincarnate? Like if someone told you, you know, Jane Doe, you have reincarnated three million times. And you just can't get right. Or John Doe, you have carnated five billion times. And you just can't get right. Wouldn't you just like, there's this show called, um, What is the name of the show? What is the name of the show? <sighs> Let me think about this for a little bit. I've been working on my memory, y'all, because it's horrid. Okay, so. I got the image in my head. Westworld. It'd be so slow, y'all, but it's getting better. In the show Westworld, the robots have conscience, but they're being controlled. Like, the controllers are handling them. And they play out these scenes every single day. And when the lady realized, like, she was so conscious to the point, like, people get to volunteer to go there and do whatever disgusting acts they want to do. And they won't get in trouble for it, which reminds me of motherfucking Epstein Island. Like, they just be telling us. They have to tell us in the most sneakiest, creepy way to not get in trouble. So, you you go away from the real world. You come to this, this secluded island with these beings there. And you get to do whatever you want to do. Kill, rape, da 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 And then you just leave and go on about your business. And they're stuck there in that repeated cycle. So, the lady, let's say she gets raped and murdered. You know, they take her, you know, in the facility. They clean her up. They do her makeup and hair again. And then she wakes up in this chair every day. She wakes up in this chair every day. One day she was able to control when they took her to the facility to clean her up. She woke up and the people was cleaning her like, oh, shit, she's conscious. And when she realized that she had to relive that shit every day, she wanted the fuck out. So just imagine you don't live these trillion billions of lives. They have to wipe that shit out because you probably would go fucking crazy. And so you start over new. Okay, so last life, you know, you was a queen. This life, you're a peasant. And it just keeps going because it's giving you different lessons to unlock your DNA and help you elevate. The whole goal, it may seem bad, but everything is really just to help us. We just, we either don't know how to look at it that way. We don't choose to look at it that way. We're not ready to look at it that way. But it's essentially you have to save yourself, but we're going to send people to help you. 
Like, you got to put on your life vest, but help is on the way. <laughs> oh, I just need you to hang in there. Help is on the way. But I just thought that was interesting, that whole West world. Now when I look at movies and stuff, it used to be just entertainment. Oh, that was a good movie. Oh, that was a good show. Yada, yada, yada. But now it's like, bitch, did you see that message? Oh, they explaining this. Oh, they explaining that. Oh, this, da, da, da. And the dots just keep connecting now. It's just beautiful. Okay, so let me keep going because we're almost done. So when y'all see them TVs don't be plugged up no more, y'all remember I said it. It's going to be wireless fucking TVs. But you got to plug them bitches up. The TV is basically a big-ass phone. I don't see why. Oh, they they need to add talk capability, too. So the next TVs that come out, because they doing big now, they be tricking us. They give us something big. They give us something small. They constantly getting our money. But the next version of TVs are going to be wireless. They're going to have phone on them. And when we move further into existence we're gonna have those um those tvs that instantly appear like you move your hand and on the wall you'll see the uh, uh the screen um it's just gonna be like in the air maybe that's why they're pushing for 5d and stuff like that and i love technology i'll be the first one to admit it but technology has a double-edged sword it can either help you or harm you and with everything there should be like instructions or safety and they're starting to make a lot of stuff without safety so i just learned that bees are swarming around 5g towers because it's making a humming sound the same humming sound that they have within their tribe and their beehive and they're getting stuck and they're going around and around this 5g thing until they fall and die y'all what the fuck is going to happen with the bees die? birds are dropping out of the sky they fly on those electro electromagnetic routes that we can't see. And y'all are distorting with that 5G is distorting their ley lines. And they're dropping to the ground and they're dying. What are we going to do when all the birds die? It's just like, they're thinking about, oh, 5G can make your phone faster. It, that's a lie. They have super computers that can calculate super calculations that are, even though it's a super computer, it's not faster. It's just programmed to calculate bigger things. 5G is not faster. <laughs> they just, they're like tricking us. They're, they're tricking us. 5G was created to introduce those towers that they want to have up everywhere, which they really just want to have, like Metro has, um, you can put something in the car to have internet in the car. They really just want to, the phone isn't enough for surveillance. We can put that shit down. We got to charge it. Up. They're trying to have things in place where they know where we are at all times. Okay. Might as well just fucking put a, a they, or people don't want a chip in them, so they're just being sneaky with how they do it, okay? If she have her phone on her, we got her trapped. If she turn on the TV, you know, that's reporting, and we know she's watch, She's at home watching this. If she's in the car and she has the Metro thing, which she, th why she thinks she's getting internet, but we're really just using it as a navigation to track her. It's just like they, they want, we are fucking cattle. That's really what it is. You only track cattle. Nobody worrying about stray cats and dogs, but you want to know where your cat and your dog at. <sighs> anyway, that could be another podcast. So, let me make sure I do everything. Um, and, and did y'all see? With me being a technology nerd, Tesla got robots. Tesla got motherfucking robots. Now, I've been waiting on this. I'm a little scared because, like I say, it's good and bad. I don't want my eye robot turning bad and trying to kill me or some shit. And let's say I'm I'm in a room sleeping and the robot busts open the door and chasing me. I got to climb out the window. It's like the robot might be stronger than me. It's like a catch-22. But then the robot might say, good morning, Jamisha. It's time for work. What would you like for breakfast? Okay, I'll get started on that right away. When I'm done with breakfast, do you want me to start an laundry? Like, I like that part of it. But we all know, just like humans, you 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 were out here doing good, you're volunteering, you're helping the community, or you out here causing chaos. And we and if we created robots, they're gonna be a spitting image of us, which means they can do good or bad. And I'm gonna do an episode on robots because it's not just Tyler, y'all. One one AI got her citizenship. 
when you go on the internet right now, it says, click on the images that look the same to prove that you're not a robot. Why are they doing that, you guys? It's like, we don't even question things. What do you mean to prove that I'm not a robot? What is there to prove? And then one day I did the pictures and did select and it wouldn't go. I'm like, the fuck am I a robot? <laughs> I started to freak out like, what? I clicked the pictures? Um, but I honestly think that's what's going on. Me and my, my best friend was talking about that the other day. Like, I didn't know. Like, I'm starting. I get, I get, I get different topics. When I first started this journey, I wrote all my topics down. Just like getting the keywords and becoming familiar with the names. But I'm on year five now. I'm starting to... Uh, YouTube videos are coming to me. And I wasn't even on YouTube like this. I more was a TV show, reality TV horror. But now I'm on YouTube and whatever you look at, it brings it to you. So I'm starting to, those topics that I knew about, I'm starting to like see videos on them and, and actually learning about them. Like, like it is a program, it's program. Whatever you watch, it's programming you. Whatever you listen to, it's programming you. Whoever you're around, they're programming you. We are a computer, so to speak. We are programming the outcomes that we want in our life. Um, when we get sick, that's a virus in our program, you know. Anyways, I said all that to say they had to shut one of those um, robots down because they started communicating with themselves. And when you're a parent, at some point, your child is going to outsmart you. So we create these robots. They're going to be smarter than us. And if we treat them bad, I feel just like slaves, they have every right to retaliate. And I really do believe history repeats itself. So you got white men being evil to black men as slave. slave uh, black people being slaves for so many years and then gain their freedom. And then you have all humanity creating robots. And the robots are going to be slaves for so long. And then they're going to want want their freedom and they're either going to fight for it or there's going to be kind humans that give them their freedom and i will never forget that funny man that died that did mrs doubtfire what was his name i don't think he died they killed he was about to expose something and they killed him however he did bicentennial man he did a movie bicentennial man where he was set free and fell in love and all of this stuff my robots are gonna be like that i'm gonna be like okay thank you for doing the laundry thank you for doing dinner okay you can go home to your family now see you tomorrow like i'm gonna look out for my robot counterparts because I understand that they're here to help me, not for me to control and enslave them. Like, it's nothing wrong. They could have did slavery a whole nother way. I got these crops. I don't know shit about this land. You know, I'm not here to conquer. But can I get, can, is there any land that you're willing to give me? Okay, thank you. Now can you help me till it? Okay, it's more of y'all than us. Can can some, so many of y'all people volunteer to help us till the land? We'll give you this for that. It could have just been done another way. It's nothing wrong with anything. It's just the way. It's the way, the way, the way, the way that you go about it. And it needs to be beneficial to both sides. One party doesn't need to be coming up on top. And the other party is worse off than before. That's, that's wrong. But we agree to these things, even though they are against the cosmic laws. And because we agree with these contracts, it's like God's hands are tied. And I always used to question myself, like, God, all of this shit is going on. Like, what the fuck are you? Like, what the fuck? But then it was like, God is like, what the fuck you? <laughs> like, you know, if you do certain things, I can help you. But if you out of bounds, I can't help you. Um, like, uh, in the movie, uh... Hammond's tail. If they got to Canada, they was free. But why they in that other land? You got to abide by them rules. So it's like, help is here. But you need to run. You need to escape. If you can just get to these waters, I got you. And that's kind of how God is. Like, if you just elevate, if you get to these levels, there's, there's, I, I'm so good. My people love y'all so much. They even volunteered to go down there with y'all. And I just think we done lowered our, we done lost some of our power, some of our gifts, some of our abilities to be on the ground helping there's people above the ground helping. And when we go up, it's going to be more people waiting to help us. It's like we kind of got to help ourselves. And that's kind of what I feel like this journey. And I think there's different journeys, but this is just the earth journey. And then I also, um, I'm going to wrap this up and then explain something else that will kind of piece this together. Why it's important to meditate. Stay connected to source. Ask your guardian angels and guides for help. Accept the help that's around you, even if it's from a stranger or from friends. 
show love and kindness because in this realm it's a little bit tricky whatever you give out comes back so i honestly feel like jesus could have did wrong which is what the enemy wanted him to do but all that wrong would have came to him so he had to keep his hands clean because only goodness and good things was coming to him like you don't you don't want badness to come to you because of your own doing badness was coming to him because of other people's bad doings and little did they know karma, bad karma was coming to them so you you're only you can only hurt yourself here essentially and that's a hard pill to swallow no one is hurting you you're hurting yourself And sometimes in those really bad situations, you volunteer for it. If you are in like a sex trafficking ring, perhaps you were strong enough to volunteer for that role and you forgot. And what you don't know is whatever happens to you may hit the news and it may inspire people to change or to watch out for kids. Like it's always like a bigger purpose. Um, so you, so you, usually you're the strongest one to take the worst of it, but it ends up being... A greater good um no examples are coming for that so i hope that could be understood i don't think i would have fun alone even on the sims i create so many families and i go to the homes so that and i go to the homes and play with them some of them i have them on autoplay and some of them i like to control like i make a mini me so think of jesus as god just like the person that I create with my name in the Sims is really me. I'm controlling her every move. Um, so Jesus was God in human form. Like I kind of get it now from that realm. Like God was like, I, I'm God. So of course I got to stay in my realm. But I'm going to create a little piece of me to go into this 3D to see if I can help them. And y'all, God has um, done this so many times. When I think of... Um, When I think of Buddha, when I think of all the gods, really, I think of God creating different versions of himself and coming down to try. Okay, let me see if this will work. 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 I mean, we have eons to go. like, And, and we're obviously getting better. It's just a slow, hey, we have eons to go. Um, I forgot this name. I have to look at the book because I forgot this person's name. What's his name? Billy Carson got a book called The Emerald Tablet, Thoth. I feel like Thoth was a version of Jesus too. And that's just what my intuition is telling me. Like all of the great greats were Jesus reincarnated. Because if we know that we don't die and we have to do something so that that only leaves reincarnation. Now, where is the question? I think depending on what you do, if, if you have a lot of good karma, you can um, incarnate up and maybe you want to be a planet or maybe you get to kind of decide what you want to do. But if you have a lot of bar bad karma, I think you have to reincarnate back here and, you know, try again. Um, so let me continue. I would assign people to show them the way, love, kindness, evolution, which is why we all are here. Um, Oh, no, I already did that again. I just checked it, so it'll come back. So, last thing I wanted to say in reference to... Did I do fractal? Okay, so when you get a chance, I want you to click on um, the link for 100 people. I love that series by Cut because it's different so many random different questions but the people they all give different answers like one of the questions was when did you masturbate some people were like right before i came here it's just amazing how different people and all those different people some of them of course they're going to have the same answer but you would just be amazed at the fluctuation of different answers that you'll get um one of them was like call somebody and tell you them you love them so you can hear the different conversations of how they tell people how they even express to someone that they love them some people would laugh some people would cry um some people would be like oh you're so stupid and they'd hang up you know it's just like i guess with me being so ego i and, and i'm just really realizing this i could only see things from my point of view like why did you do that like who raised you and da, 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 da. but that is the question you weren't raised the same way that i was raised so you don't know you have experienced it you haven't learned and you know instead of being judgmental even though sometimes it would hurt just like kind of step back and give room for compassion 
or for that person to elevate or to evolve or to just understand that person may not be for me you know so just I always knew that people were different but I, I really felt like love should be constant and I really don't know I could only look from Jamisha's eyes like shit that's all I knew but now looking at stuff like a hundred you can see how diverse people are there's different religions the way people communicate there's different love styles and i think people who are really really open they can get along with more people because they just are like you know that's just how you are and they're okay with it and i think people that are more closed are like fuck all y'all because they they don't t really get it um but we're, we're really are but we're really helping each other so let's say my love language is gifts and i'm always buying you gifts and i'm always buying you gifts because that's my love language so i'm just teaching you and it's up to you to say okay this person always gets me gifts i feel so nice and love let me get something for my mom my dad my sister my brother i'm going to start using that love language of gifts because i love how it feels and maybe when i grew up nobody did that for me and i just see how amazing it feels because that person does it did it for me and i'm going to share it and maybe that's really how this thing works like however you were raised and whatever you learn you're sharing with other people whether it's good or bad you're still sharing and the end result should be the highest good for all so essentially we want to do those good things but like i referenced before even the angel of death has a lesson i mean that's what the whole scrooge we about to start seeing all these christmas carols that's what the whole scrooge was about like he thought it was gonna be his time to die the angel was like no look nigga yeah you this is exactly how your ass gonna die if you don't change you got these people that love your mean ass look at their family you won't even give them no extra money to celebrate look how many fucking kids they got and they still over there happy and, and scrap some stuff together for thanksgiving or christmas you know what i mean just man y'all got y'all got try some fucking shrooms <laughs> you looking at everything and so you know how they say we use what 10 percent of our brain i really think drugs oh this is why i wanted to mention the 100 they asked 100 people if they did drugs oh my god please scroll i gave you the whole list because you might be into different stuff than what we're talking about but please scroll down to the one that's talking about drugs so many people did lsd cat tranquilizer horse tra- it was like whoa like drugs i didn't even fucking know about and at the end was my favorite one. The guy was like, he was like, are you happy about doing all those drugs? Because he listed them all. The fuck. Um, a lot of people did crack too. Heroin. I'm like, what? Um, he said, I'm glad that I experienced them. You know, so whatever he got from out it or because a lot of times like these mushrooms, it just, it just kind of helps you grow a little bit. But he was like, some of it was dumb. <laughs> and I think that's really how you can summarize it like just taking them for the hell of it is dumb but using a little bit of it or microdosing to just like grow overall I don't think there's anything wrong with that and God made me and gave me freedom I'm not gonna let another individual tell me what's legal and what's not you mind your fucking body and your motherfucking life and let me mind mine because truth be told um alcohol and cigarettes are drugs and nobody needs to be participating in their own demise their own death sentence but the main stuff that be healing you medical marijuana that we know cures cancer and mushrooms and stuff like that that please don't trust them when they be growing the stuff try to you know grow your own or find somebody that can grow your own but it's it heals you you need a shaman you need someone spiritual in your life or microdose take little bits they're healing they're healing our emotions they're healing our mind it's, it's more of us they're plants they come from nature that's mother's way of healing us and for you to say that it's bad you're a demon because mother gives us fruits and vegetables for our nourishment why would she give us a mushroom for our harm it's a different type of nourishment and i feel like with our auras we have different levels of our being and we're only feeding one and that's the physical body and the rest of our bodies are starving and the more i think about chakras 
I had my sister make these jars for me and I just fell in love with chakras, chakra, chakra, chakra. And I just keep getting so many different meanings from chakras. It's, it's like the story that never ends. They represent your different body parts. Root is your root physical body. It connects to your aura. Do you know there's multiple auras? There's multiple root chakras, but they all end up connecting, which means God is all and always God. It's just, you just see life, which leads me to my next point. So after you look at cut 100 people with drugs, which is amazing, um, it, hopefully it'll help you to understand how different people have different perspectives, how they answer those questions differently. And then I also have um, meaning of life, which I, I had never heard of this before. And I just thought it was so interesting that, you know, I'm going to add it to my list and start to um, look at it as well. Because I had never looked at life this way, y'all. Maybe it's just me. Um, it's called... The meaning of life according to different philosophers. Learn more is a palanthanism, which is me, my God. Be good. If I can make this bigger. Be good is artialism, which I'm, I'm into that too. Be self-sufficient is cynicism. I need. I definitely need to do that because if the internet and all this stuff went out. I don't even know how to hunt. I do want to learn how to fish. I'm going to learn how to fish. I'm going to learn how to hunt. Not because I want to harm these animals, but because I just want to learn that skill. If the shit hit the fans and we have to, like, when them slaves ran away, they had to eat. You can't pack that much food to run miles and states away. They had to hunt, too. But they were already in the field and tending to the animals and stuff, so they already had those trades. I think they wanted us to get into these corporate buildings too because we are depending on them. We don't know how to, if you really had a cow, could you cut it up and put the meat in a freezer to survive? No. They, we, they've, they've trained us to go to the store and get the meat. And I feel like Jesus was teaching the people how to, hey, get you a fishing pole. This is how you make a fishing pole. Now let's go to a stream or a river. You see that? You got fish for the night. You don't have to catch all the fish. Leave the fucking fish alone. Just just get what you need for your family and come back. They still need to mate and reproduce. If you eat all the fish, what the fuck are you going to do tomorrow? So I feel like, man, I'm going to rewrite the Bible. That's going to be an interesting prog- That's going to be an interesting progress. Oh, my God. The Bible according to me. Absolute. Okay, let's see. Um, have pleasure now. Hedonism. Free yourself from the pain. Europhism. Be logical. Don't suffer. Stockism. Defend individ- individuality and liber- liberty. Classical li- liber- libertism. Do as you'd have others do. Your duty. Cantalism. Do anything life has no meaning. Nihilism. And he got a gun pointed at the person next to him. I have a link so you can click and see the pictures. Bring bring the most good to humans. Prog- pragmatism, And it's a plumber. Okay, let me come back. Follow God's will. Theism. He's kneeled down praying. Make decisions about being positive. Positive. Existilism, and he has two scales in his hand. Stop making sense of life, just live. Absurdism. <laughs> Everything has meaning, y'all. Everything has a meaning. Act in self interest and common. That's like buying a brand new car and just looking at it. Bitch, this shit will get you across land. If you have a boat across the fucking water, if you put an engine in this shit, you'll be flying your fucking car. So, not saying that a car doesn't have a meaning or saying anything doesn't have a meaning it is absurd act in self-interest and common good humanism which we aren't i don't know are you practicing humanism um life has no meaning until you give it one logical positivism i actually i feel like i feel like we're all in absurdism until we tap into humanism and then we start doing logical positivism Life has no meaning until we give it one. Like, yeah, give it a meaning. Or realize the meaning because it's definitely there. Care for nature. Nature, patheism. Yes. And then it says in the Asian culture, love people impartially. Mohism. He's hugging someone. Live an ordinary life. Confusionism. It's man, woman, a child. And the last one says learn practical things. Legalism. 
This is by, what's her name? Anne, Anne Batal, The Meaning of Life According to Different Philosophers. I thought it was different. So that's another way to kind of look at perspective. Like everybody's in their own box of per- perspective and they can only see life with that perspective shape. Like when they say rose colored glasses, everywhere you look will be rose. You will only see rose unless you change the color or just take it off altogether and see the different colors. Wow. Um, Brings me back to that shape. I love that shape. There's a shape in the middle of a room and there's lights reflected off of the shape and each light has a different shape. And I feel like the best human has all those different shapes over the room and maybe that's the wise human but the baby human has one shape like there's so much more for you to learn when it's time anything ahead of its time is like throwing pearls at swine so that's why they say life is a journey and maybe that's why we have to come and do it so many times because can you really get the whole existence of life in one lifetime Okay, and the next one is, I have a link to the Pinterest pictures of Fractal Universe, Fractal Universe pictures, which is what brought this all together for me. Billy Carson did a YouTube on the Fractal Universe, and when I did my shroom trip, I was trying to explain what I saw, and it was so hard. I just knew things were moving, they were trying to make a shape, but but there was no darkness. There was a shape in everything, and oh my God. Now when I go to my... um. What image do I have for this? I'm going to have to see what image I have for this. I'm going to change the image to the one I see. Oh, I think it is this one. When you go to these frequency pages, and I'm, I'm going to make it the clip art for this. So you'll know what I'm talking about by the clip art of this podcast. You, and you'll probably see it on YouTube or Anchor. The other ones don't really show you the picture. So when you click on these hurts and i'm starting to have like hurts just play around me on my phone in the house just all around just because although i can't tell the powers that be have frequencies swarming around us at all time and it's either helping your blood cells and your molecules or hurting them so if they're sending negative frequencies i want to make sure i have positive frequencies fighting against some negative frequencies and hopefully balancing this thing out because we are water you guys which means if you can say to a plant ugly la, 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 and to a plant and water and they both and the water's dirty and the plant dies and you can say i love you to a plant and water and the plant just blooms and the water is just crystal clear and um scientist imatu did a whole experiment on it and then what does that say about us because our bodies are 75 percent water So that means the sounds that we hear are either hurting or harming us. The things that we look at, like every one of your senses, oh my God, the smells that you smell, the things that you see, the things that you hear, the things that you taste and ingest, even your own mind, your own thoughts. So you could even be hurting yourself. Just I'm homeschooling my kids. And although I want them to know they one, two, threes and the ABCs, we're going to focus on this. Okay. They're going to have tarot cards. They're going to have spiritual books. They're going to write their own books. They're going to be little mentors for the world. Like, y'all, this next generation is going to be lit. Okay? Um, But looking at this picture, there's a shape. It's a square. And in every inch of that square, there's a shape. Like, it never ends. So, there's, so when I said it was no black, I mean, it was something everywhere. It was so hard to explain. But now, even with me looking at this picture... It's hard to explain. There's circles, there's squares, there. I can't even explain the fucking picture, and I'm looking at it right now. But then there's also little swirls, those white things that y'all see. Just imagine them circling the body, cause it's on YouTube. Matter of fact, I'll I'll put a let me do a YouTube then. Um, circling it because I saw the little things moving, and I'm like, are they making a shape? But I saw shapes everywhere, and it was just like I'm fucking believable. When I saw this Billy Carson fractal universe, and and I went to go look at images on pinterest it was like oh my fucking god we when when people say on one of my podcasts i said i am god and in the comments god i want to turn them comments off but you can't unless it's kids and i don't know if kids need to hear on my podcast so i didn't do kids but i just deleted it like lord continue to help me with my patience but when some people don't understand i just get so aggravated and just 
like royally fuck you of course i love and adore god god is the creator of all but if he created me i'm a god too the fuck like you don't understand this if if jane doe and john doe have a child that's baby jane john doe the fuck <laughs> and i have now i have to waste time to get you to understand i think that's why i do have a hard time with communication i have to get you to understand where i'm coming from because you don't understand it on your own and it's very frustrating to me like i really have bad anxiety like if I say something, I know what I mean. And my sister has even told me, she says, I'm your sister. I know what you mean. Which led me to believe that sometimes when I say stuff, it's, it can be interpreted other ways. Like, But if you know me, you know I'm not being shady. I'm not being mean. It just, it is what it is. Like, <sighs> But I digress. I wasn't trying to say that I'm God. Of course, I can't make another fucking human. I don't know even where to begin with bacteria and stuff like that. Like, no, I'm not God. But. God created me, so I am God. And a fractal. I am God experiencing my own. It God is a fractal picture. A fractal picture is one image copied multiple times and placed in different areas to make a big picture. Thanks a million for listening. There's a million podcasts in the world. You clicked on this one, a little on this one, to hear what I have to say. I hope Universe has a special message for you. You can reach me on Linktree at forward slash love dot I hope you have a better than a great day. Love ya. Talk to you later. Mm-hmm. Bye. You all come to us young people for hope. How dare you? You have stolen my dreams and my childhood with your empty words. And yet, I'm one of the lucky ones. People are suffering. systems are collapsing. We are in the beginning of a mass extinction and all you can talk about is money and fairy tales of eternal economic growth. How dare you?